Living in Humility and Service Lessons from Jesus My dear friends, Jesus, in today's Gospel, delivers a powerful message about humility, authenticity, and true leadership. As we reflect on His words, let us explore how we can embody these virtues in our own lives and relationships. Drawing inspiration also from the example of Mary, Queen of the Apostles. Jesus begins by acknowledging the authority of the scribes and Pharisees, who hold the seat of Moses and teach the law. He instructs the crowds and his disciples to heed their teachings, but warns against following their example. The scribes and Pharisees, Jesus notes, preach righteousness, but fail to practice it themselves. They burden others with heavy rules and rituals, yet their actions are driven by a desire for recognition and status. Jesus contrasts this behavior with the spirit of humility and service that he calls his followers to embrace. He encourages them not to seek titles or positions of honor, such as rabbi or master, but to recognize that they are all brothers and sisters under one Father in heaven. True greatness, Jesus teaches, is found in serving others, not in seeking recognition or power. Moreover, Jesus emphasizes that those who exalt themselves will be humbled, while those who humble themselves will be exalted. This profound statement challenges us to examine our own hearts and motives. Are we seeking to elevate ourselves above others, or are we willing to humble ourselves and serve those in need? In addition to Jesus' teachings, we can also look to the example of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, for guidance and humility and faith. Mary, chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus, exemplified profound humility and unwavering trust in God's plan. Despite her exalted role, she referred to herself as the handmaid of the Lord, showing humility in her service to God and humanity. As we journey through Lent, let us strive to emulate the humility and servant leadership of Jesus and Mary. Let us resist the temptation to seek recognition or status, and instead focus on serving others with love and compassion. May we remember that true greatness is found not in titles or accolades, but in acts of kindness, generosity, and selflessness. Let us pray for the grace to follow Jesus and Mary's example, and to embrace a spirit of humility and service in our daily lives. May Mary, Queen of the Apostles, intercede for us and inspire us to imitate her virtues as we seek to follow Christ. Amen.